Hello everybody, this is a tutorial for an online Web 2.0 application known as Capsules. And Capsules is a online timeline creating application and it uh, can be used for a lot of different ways. Some people use it to uh, show pictures for a timeline or you could use it just to display work or you could use it to um, as kind of an online promotion idea and we'll kind of get into it here to show you what it's about and whether or not you can find any uses for it for yourself. So uh, when you go to capsules you go to c-a-p-z-l-e-s capsules.com and uh, it's very easy to get set up it asks you for your name and an email address basically they don't use your email address for spam or anything like that it's pretty much for if you forget your password and they can get that back to you that way up at the top where it says hello and then it says your username when it, you can click that at any time and it's going to take you to your dashboard and then you have some options up at the top and to start off we're going to go to create and we're going to go create new capsule and this capsule that I'm using is just for an example for a graphic design portfolio project that we're going to be doing in school so I thought I would use this tutorial as a time to get this project done and to also show other people how to do this um, it tells us no contents been added and I can go over to title and description on the top left hand side and I can give my capsule a name so I'm going to give it just a real basic one and then for description here's some of my work from this term okay and then it, I can go through and I can change my font um, and change the colors and that stuff you can always go back and change it later if you don't like how it's set up so I'm just gonna leave mine as is for right now and then I'm going to minimize that window or that little tab by clicking on it again and now I'm gonna go to tags and categories and here it just makes it so you can uh, search for it easier so I'm just gonna type in graphic design and I'm going to go to art and design and I'm going to click on digital for my categories and again that's so if people are searching for it online or you know if you want people to have access to it it gives them more ways that that they can access that okay so I have tags and categories done okay and after you do things on this it'll automatically save it for you so if you're somebody who forgets to save a lot that's helpful as well okay so now I'm gonna go down to add content and I'm going to upload directly onto my timeline and I'm gonna click add files and I already just kinda of conveniently put these pictures that I made into one folder so it's easier to find you may have yours in separate folders I'm gonna click open it's gonna put them all here and then I'm going to click start upload and depending on the size of your pictures uh, it might happen really quickly and it might take a little bit you know and you can always change the size of your pictures or the quality to make them a smaller file size um, so you don't have to wait as long some of these might take a little bit longer on mine so we'll see how quickly it goes through uh, some of the other things I could do is I could upload into a stack on my timeline um, if I wanted several pictures to be in one stack uh, that's what I would click on I just put mine all on here to show up in a line and and you'll kind of see what that means here in a little bit and you can also upload a blog onto your timeline so write a blog entry that will appear as a single moment in your capsule timeline so they have different options of ways that you can display your work and this is just what I'm doing for for simplicity reasons okay so I have my pictures up here you can change the order of any of these that you want by clicking and dragging and then it'll save it for you um, I have all the content added on that I want to just for this demonstration and now I'm gonna go to design your capsule 
when I click here I can design it myself by changing the background color and the font type and all that stuff I also can um, put up my own background image and when you do that you kinda wanna make sure it fits on the whole back screen so you you know so it looks nice just for just for the example of showing you what they have on here I'm gonna choose one on here that I can use alright so I choose this one and with this theme it changed the font for me I can still go back and change that font if I wish um, I'm just gonna leave it like this for right now um, then I'm I could have showed you this before I should have but if I go back to my uh, images here that I that I uploaded if I click on it on any of the images a little dialogue window will come up and I can change the title of that picture so I could just say um, promotional poster and then I could say this is a poster for a restaurant you know and then underneath for tags I could put whatever I want to and then I can you know I can change the date and time I can choose who's gonna see it and that kind of thing and then when I click on this then it's gonna save it and you'll see up here instead of it just showing the file name it'll have the name that I gave it and so that's kind of a useful thing I would do that for each one of these pictures um, okay so let's say I got all those done and I have my capsule designed the way I like I can add background music this is just a song that I found on one of the royalty free music sites and you know if I if I was gonna make one with over my favorite movie and it had different scenes from my movie in there maybe my background music is gonna be from the soundtrack you know or if if it's uh, photographs that I took of nature maybe the backgrounds gonna be some that's kind of a relaxing sound or nature type of sounds and you know you can kind of play around with what kind of music um, and how it serves the purpose of your capsule that you're creating and so I have that finished I can go to privacy and I can choose who I want to see this if it's gonna be just friends on here or nobody or if I want everybody to be able to see it and then also you can set your default privacy for new uploads which is nice as well okay and then when you're finished with it you can go up to the top where it says I'm finished and the cool thing about capsules are when you move your mouse over the top of it you can scroll down your work that you have showing and it also kind of gives you that fisheye effect as you move over it. so I think it's kind of a a cool dynamic way for people to show work and to use as a uh, for promoting something or for uh, displaying their work uh, you can also go up to link at the top and it'll give you a link and you can embed that onto your web page or onto your blog and then other people can have access to it uh, on that media it doesn't have to just be by logging into your capsules or just by knowing the URL so that's kinda cool as well uh, then when you click on whatever pictures you have this is the one I edited earlier the information comes up to the top I can rate it or other people can rate it if you want to give them uh, the opportunity to do that and then it tells you the name of it and gives you your information right there and um, it shows you all your information in there that you like uh, when you're done looking at that you can click close and then go back to your capsules and look at it so I think it's uh, really cool give it a try and see what you think about it and uh, if you make a mistake you can always go back to edit capsule and it'll take you back to your page and you can make whatever changes you want and then you can always access all your capsules by going back to your dashboard and it'll list all your capsules that you have created on here and you can go back and view them or or change them at any time hopefully you found this useful and hopefully uh, you can find some creative uses for capsules um, that can suit your needs and hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for your time